Hey guys, it's Kimberly from the Fat Quarter Shop and today we're filming a classic and vintage video for you. That's where we take old blocks and make them new for today. And we're working on the Hunter Star block, which if you make this block the traditional way, it uses paper piecing, which like that takes just way too long. And if you do it with half square triangle paper, you get more of a choppy block. So we've come up with a completely original way for you to make this block. I know you're gonna love it. So you can download the free block pattern at Fat Quarter Shop. Or if you wanna make it into a quilt like the quilt behind us, we've got a low price pattern there also. So let's get started. Follow your pattern and cut all your pieces out. Then you're gonna have a fabric B and fabric F and on just those two, we're gonna cut those on the diagonal once. So I'm gonna use a Creative Grids nine and a half inch square ruler and I'm gonna use this 45 degree line so then we know it is square or it's, you know, lined up perfectly. And you're going to have two triangles for B and two triangles for F. Now let's move to the next step. So this is where the block gets really creative and fun. First, you're going to take a fabric B triangle and a fabric H rectangle. You're going to stitch those together with a quarter inch seam and press according to your pattern. On this one, you really want to follow our pressing arrows on the pattern because then everything's going to nest when you put it together into a quilt. Then you're going to add your fabric G and you're going to press also and you've got a unit that looks just like this. Now what we're going to do is you're going to take, um, I like to use the eight and a half by 24 and a half inch Creative Grids ruler because it's big enough to cover everything. And you'll notice on this very corner, you've got a white 45 degree line and it says 45 degrees. You're going to line that up on the left, get right next to the green. It's not going to be perfectly straight. That's totally normal. And then you're going to trim. And you're going to make one of these for each block. And now we're going to make our dark unit. And you're going to be using a fabric F triangle and a fabric D rectangle. Press. Again, they're going to be pressing differently here, so pay attention to the directions. And then add your fabric C rectangle. And then you're going to have your dark piece. We're going to do the same exact thing. I'm just going to do exactly what we did before. Line up your line and cut. And so now we have a light piece and a dark piece. We're using a ombre fabric. It's called Ombre Confetti Metallic and it's by V & Co for Moda. And that's gonna give you this beautiful effect that we've got going on in this coat behind me. So let's go to the next step. So you have your light and dark pieces. And if you've paid attention to the pressing arrows and the instructions, everything is gonna nest here. And I'm gonna use lots of pins. The first thing I'm gonna do is pin the two intersections where everything nests. And all of this is going to be biased. So you want to be really gentle when you're sewing and not move around too much. So pin those two, pin one in the center and then once on the edge. And if it doesn't line up perfectly, it's totally fine because we're going to be trimming this block down. So let's go to the sewing machine. We're going to use a 2.0 stitch length and a quarter inch seam and we're going to sew this block right together. So we've got our block pieced together. We're going to set our seam, which is just pressing gently, press toward the dark. And now I'm going to use a rotate, rotating mat to trim. And you can see like our edges are not perfect. And that's how it's supposed to be. So we're going to take a Creative Grids nine and a half inch square ruler. We're going to place the center line on here and we're going to trim all four sides. I like to use this Matilda mat because it's very steady and it doesn't, um, it doesn't wobble up and down. And so now you can see your points are perfect on both ends. We've trimmed it down perfectly and now let's keep adding to our block. So now we're going to add corner squares to our corners. You've got your light side 
and your dark side. On the back of your fabric A and fabric E squares, you're gonna draw a line from corner to corner. I just use a Creative Grids ruler, friction pin, draw a line. Friction pin disappears with heat later, I love it. So you're gonna put the dark square on the light corner. I'm gonna pin this in place since it's a really large square so that when we go to the sewing machine, it doesn't move around. And then I'm gonna put the light side down And then what I'm gonna do, because they do overlap, is I'm just gonna kinda put these in the center, like this, so that when I'm sewing, I don't sew over the other square. And I'm just gonna stitch directly on these lines, and we'll be right back. So now we have our corner squares attached. We're gonna keep the, the center kind of out of the way. We're gonna trim a quarter inch away from our seam line on both sides. We're using our quilters cut and press. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna press and we're gonna press toward the dark. So we're gonna set our seam here, press, set our seam and press and you've got this wonderful hunter star block and what you're going to notice is it took less time than paper piecing and since you don't have the half square triangles you don't have your fabrics cut up and it looks beautiful This is our classic and vintage Hunter Star quilt. We hope you love it and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.